Hello and welcome back to the channel. Some more pro basketball manager content for you today. This time, it's a lot of talk on Twitter throughout last season, throughout the season before, about an all star game. We bring that to reality of sorts. So here we are, North versus South. So in the North, we've got Caledonia, Newcastle, Durham, Sheffield, we've got Nottingham and Manchester they're the six teams in the north for the south team obviously the other six because we are including Seven Oaks still because it's last season's rosters Seven Oaks, Oaklands, London Essex, Cardiff and Leicester so I'm going to pop the rosters up for you as we play the game let me know your thoughts on the teams down below in the comments. If you're new here, I think the last time I saw it, there was 72% of people watch my content who are not subscribed to the channel. So just click that little subscribe button in the corner of this video. Uh, give this video a like as well because that's the best way to get the video out there for more people to enjoy. So thank you very much for joining me. Let's get straight into the game. So here we go again. Uh, WBBL view as head coach North versus South in the All Stars game. Let's check out the North roster. So we decided two players per team. So everyone's represented. But we've got Lewis and Fernandez from the Eagles, Handy McGarrichan from Caledonia, uh, George Gale and Carly Murphy from Sheffield, Otwell Salisbury and Jess Wayne from Durham, Shaw and Nicholas from Nottingham, and McDermott and Keltos from the Manchester Mystics. Um, it's just a schedule, but it's just north versus south. But let's have a look at the south roster. Now, remember, two players per team. There's probably more players from the likes of London Lions that would get in. But let me know your thoughts underneath. Who would you have instead? Um, Bradshaw and Monacana from the Suns. Uh, Arlen and Squires from the Riders. Daniela Turner and Sune Swart for Essex. Uh, Grace George, who unfortunately had that in really, really nasty injury. I'll put the link to the GoFundMe page because her medical costs are ridiculous. Um, and Georgia Smith for the Aucklands. Kiki Herbert Harrigan for London, along with Holly Winterburn. Let's get straight into the game to see how it pans out. Here we go, the matchup. Uh, the match is at the Copper Box. There was 3,227 fans inside the arena today. I would explain the odds to you that were there, but I'm not really entirely sure how it works out. Um, let's just get straight into the game. Now, I wanted to watch it with you, because you can actually... The, the match engine allows you to watch it like it is now on the screen. But as you can see, it's very jumpy and slow. It's not normally like that, but as soon as I start to kind of screen record, it goes all jumpy. Um, I think I need some new equipment. <laughs> but this is what it normally looks like on Pro Basketball Manager. Georgia Smith driving in for two points. There it goes, magically just shot to the basket. And the South take an early lead. Um, we're only going to watch one more basket, which is the first for the North, and then we'll simulate through each quarter and have a look at the stats, see who comes out on top between the North and the South. But let's watch Georgia Scale sink this three. Magic. Look at that. So, as I say, I'm going to simulate now through the quarters, and we will have a look at the stats through each one. And see where we're up to at the end of the first quarter. South 22, North 28. So an early lead for North. Uh, Chantel Handy with seven. Kennedy Nicholas with seven. But two early fouls for Kennedy Nicholas. Oh, is that going to play an important role in today's matchup? Let's get into simulating the second quarter. Let's get to half time and see where we're up to. Um, we will have a look at the South stats at the end of the game. I can't look at them because you've got to be manager of one side. But here we are, half time. The North lead by 11. Kennedy Nicholas, 13 fouls, still only those. Uh, 13 points, still only those two fouls. 
and the points are spread out from that. So, for quarter number three, I'd say it's a shame we can't watch the whole match together. I've practiced my commentary a little bit. Oh, what a terrible quarter that was for the North. The South get their 11 deficit back and suddenly they're 8 points ahead. Kendi Nicholas still only 13 points. Big fourth quarter to come. 8 points of deficit. Can they get that back? Or is South going to take the win? And South win by 7. Let's have a look at the end stats. We are going to play a second game to see how that matches up. But here's the recap. Holly Winterburn with the MVP, Eva's Player of the Week award. Let's have a look then. Top scorers were Holly Winterburn and Kennedy Nicholas for the different teams. Ashley Arlen's there. Chantel Handy with six assists. Well, let's have a look at the, the breakdown of the South team because I think there was some I didn't mention earlier. Lauren Sakey and Shannon Hatch from Cardiff. I didn't mention them earlier. So apologies. I was wanting to get in about Grace George because it's horrible what's happened. Um, I'll put the links below, as I said. But look at those stats then. 21 points for Holly. 16 from Kiki Herbert Harrigan. The London ladies leading the way. Uh, Kendi Nicholas with 19 points, as I said. Harriet Otwell Soulsby, 15. Interestingly, Marina Fernandez, Leah McDermott, and Erin McGarrichan didn't get a minute on court. Strange decisions from the head coach. And let's have a look at the comparison between the two teams. Hmm. 18 fouls each. The 100% from the free throw line. But Harley Winterburn, 21 points, 2 rebounds, 1 assist, MVP of the game. As I said, we're going to have another matchup so we can see if it was a fluke. Because I'm from the north. I need to give them a chance to to come back right <laughs> so let's have a look then let's play it we'll simulate through each quarter again so we can see um, little by little build up the suspense a little bit I know you're all waiting I can't imagine what an all-stars game would actually be like in the WBBL where would it be held who would get picked how would you pick them fan vote a committee let me know your thoughts below about an All-Stars game. Come on, let's get comment. let's get interacting. What are your thoughts on an All-Star game? Where would it be? Well, here we are, quarter number one. As I say, we're just going to simulate through because the watching of it is really tricky. <coughs> I'm not sure why they're all facing that way. Must be singing the national anthems or something. First quarter, ooh, high scoring. 28-27. Uh, this point's pretty much spread out. Georgia Gale, 5. Otwell Soulsby, 5. Kenny Nicholas, 5. And at the bottom, Chantel Handy with 8. So the North, 1 point behind in a must-win game. What's the second quarter going to look like? Here we go. As I say, building up the suspense. Quarter by quarter. Oh, the North lead by three. Chantel Handy adds four points in that second quarter to finish the half with 12. But the points are spread out amongst the rest of the team. A little fire emoji there next to Georgia Gale. Pass the ball to Georgia. So here we go, three points North lead. Let's see if they can... Maintain that lead because their third quarter in that first match was atrocious. Let's see if this can be any better. Here we go. Oh, it's tight. It's tight. 61 61. Uh, as I say, points are, are, are evenly spread. 61 points. Oh, this will be a good All Stars game. People talk about lack of competition in the All Stars. 
this is a competitive game. Who is going to come out on top? The North need to win. Let's get fingers crossed. Oh, what a... F the South only scored four points in that final quarter. 78-65. What happened in that last quarter for the South team? So that's a, that's a nice way to finish the two matches. One game apiece. Let's have a look at the key stats from these matchups. MVP was Kennedy Nicholas. But as I said, let me know who makes your South and North rosters with two players each team from last season's rosters. Top scorers, Kiki Herbert Harrigan and Chantel Handy. Let's get the South up. Seiki, Monacana, Squires did not play. Oh, Kiki Herbert Harrigan, 37% from the field. Four from twelve from the three point line. Georgia Smith, three from four from the three point line. For the North, as I say, Kennedy Nicholas was MVP. Twelve points, eleven rebounds, one assist, three blocks. Pretty impressive. Yeah, have a look through those stats. One game apiece. So I know I said the next video I would do would be the Newcastle trying to get them from 12th place to the top by adding uh, a superstar every single year until they do it. Uh, that is coming. It's just taking longer than I thought, but I didn't want to leave you waiting. So I thought, let's, let's do the all-star one. Let's get that out there. But if you've enjoyed this, it's just a little bit of fun, obviously simulating through what an all-stars game would look like but I, would, I do want to get the discussion going okay let me know your thoughts below in the comments what your all-star game would look like who would who would make up the rosters where would it be how would you do it? would you have a full weekend where you have this the, the skills uh, competitions and the three-point competition would you would you do a full weekend of it how would your all-stars weekend look like in the WBBL Thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe. Like this video. Best way to spread it around. Uh, share it with your friends. Share it with uh, your enemies. Whatever you want to do. Just get it out there. Uh, I'll see you very soon. Thank you very much.